Oyame Erujoa performance was completely sold out in Lagos. We caught up with the last performance with the current Oluwabori in attendance. Do enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> my heart beat my love what happened that you pulled away from your husband my king. it is my worry for you and your continued well-being that has made my heart troubled the robots and the shakiris with a fine and merciful hands and my reign has been one of peace without any form of rancor or rebellion. But why then? Why then should my own household be the wrestling square? We are on the right track. Convincing Edo and the teaming youth of Aliwere will only solidify our network and upset the kingdom. And then it will not sit that Olu who only thinks of himself and what he alone stands to gain. Is he, Zabu Zabu. He and his chiefs have no choice but to listen to us mm -hmm. and let development come to our land. Mm -hmm. If not, they will face the biggest civil unrest in the land. Oh, yes. I invited you people so that I can give you my immediate command. I, Ogyame Erejua II, hereby order that all disturbances in my kingdom cease immediately. I don't care about political affiliations. I draw my power from the throne of my fathers. I speak the voice of my ancestors. I speak the voice of God. And my word is law. Oh, yeah, so. This is beyond Ishakiri. It's beyond worry. This is, I see the diversity that is Nigeria. And, and this is something I've been saying for this one plus year since our emergence, and I'll say it again. Nigeria is having a fresh start. And where it may not look like it, that things are chaotic and you know, it, it, it almost appears as though we are sinking deeper, I assure you, if you knew what it was like, not that I was there, but I guess uh, let me attempt that when God said, let there be light, the light came out of darkness. It came out of a chaotic situation. So from what may appear to be a very frustrating and chaotic situation that Nigeria finds itself, the light has already come. We did a much more robust production than we did in Lagos when in Worry we got more professional people and then increased the cast size. Because in Worry we had to fly people to Worry so that the cost limited the, the kind of quality of um, um, cast members. So now we have 75 people on stage. They get brilliant. You can see that the play took three and that played to three different eras, you get the worry in the kingdom um, history, you get, and then we now ended up with a very strong plea for Nigerian unity. You can see dances from other um, tribes in the country. I'm very excited how the government himself came this time around, and it's beautiful. You can see the whole. We say Ogyama Erejiwa. A lot of people think they're coming to watch Erejiwa's story, but for me, what I was dealing with as a playwright, uh, I was dealing with a curse. Um, no matter what you do, uh, 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 Jacob said to uh, Isaac said uh, to Jacob, um, what's his name? Uh, Esau, bring me venison that I may bless you. And the mother of Jacob turned around, carried the blessing and gave it uh, uh, to her son. At the end of the day, what it shows that the word of mouth or curse or blessings actually do work and God honors it.